first grade. I hope you're having a great day so far. I wanted to share another read aloud with you. I know we've been on sort of a pet theme, animal theme, uh, but I found this story and I thought it was funny and I thought you might enjoy it. This is called Hannah's Tall Order, an A to Z sandwich. And I know I've probably been snacking a bit more than normal since I've been home. Maybe you're doing the same thing. Uh, but as we read the story, think about Hannah asks for all these different things on her sandwich. And so I thought we could think about which of these uh, food items you would like on a sandwich and maybe which ones you wouldn't like on a sandwich. So this is called Hannah's Tall Order, an A to Z sandwich. When Hannah was hungry and wanted to munch, she'd stop at McDougal's to order some lunch. Now Hannah was tiny, in fact, quite petite, but don't let that fool you. Oh boy, could she eat. What do we notice about the words? Uh, they rhyme, right? So I always think rhyming stories are kind of fun to read too. Whistling a tune, Hannah swung the door wide. Oh no, groaned McDougal. She's coming inside. Hi, Mr. McDougal. Guess what, Hannah said. I've come for a sandwich on thick whole wheat bread. An A to Z sandwich, young Hannah declared. An alphabet sandwich? McDougal just stared. I'd like Avocados and bean sprouts, fresh carrots galore, dill pickles, egg salad, those figs I adore. McDougal got busy and started to chop. He peeled and he minced, he grated nonstop. Green pepper, said Hannah, slice thin if you please, and drizzle on lots of sweet honey from bees. Add ice cream and jelly, then ketchup, two plops, a freshly squeezed lemon, just 10 tiny drops. A dollop or two of marshmallow fluff. It's right there on your shelf, the white sticky stuff. And if you don't mind, I'd like lots of nuts too. I'm not all that hungry. One olive will do. McDougal turned red. He broke out in a sweat. Hannah pointed her finger. She wasn't done yet. A slice of potato or better yet too and sprinkle on quinoa. It's grown in Peru. A radish to give it the zip that it needs, then toss on a handful of sunflower seeds. A ripe red tomato picked fresh off the vine, an ugly fruit chopped up especially fine. Vanilla and whipped cream for flavor and flair. Oh no, Hannah giggled, you whipped creamed your hair. McDougal looked cross and he started to shake. How much more, he asked Hannah, can this sandwich take? Hannah hopped on a stool and she gave it a spin. I know what's missing, she said with a grin. Please add a small helping of fresh Zuba fish. I've heard that it's healthy and oh so delish. Then spread on a layer of creamy mushed yam and grated zucchini, no more than a gram. McDougal said, finally, it's ready to eat. I had to use white bread. I'm out of whole wheat. Oh no. What? said Hannah, only white bread. Oh, ack, in that case, you'll just have to put it all back. And so she didn't even eat the sandwich with all that stuff on it. So I don't know if any of those things uh, looked good to you for a sandwich. I know I saw a few things that I like on a sandwich and maybe some that I don't. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the story and feel free to make a comment on this post of what you like on your sandwich and I can approve it and then we can all check it out. If you'd like, you don't have to. Um, all right, I hope you're doing great. I miss you and I will talk with you all soon. Bye guys.